Good morning, everybody. Uh, so, first night in this house is a nightmare. My son screamed all night next to me, screaming bloody murder. Um, I had nightmares too, and he's totally freaked out. This house is a total mess. We had to get the landlord to come. I mean, even the oven is not even cleaned out. It's disgusting. Um, I'm so upset about this house. I don't know how I'm gonna last 45 days in this house. I'm so mad. So when that landlord comes here, I'm gonna tell him he's gonna get this cleaned up or he's gonna give us our deposit back because this is ridiculous. I'm, this house is a mess, it's disgusting. Even my son says so. He's like, it's so nasty and raunchy. Plus, he says it needs a paint job, which, of course, I used to paint houses. So, yeah, I believe it needs a paint job. Jordan, you want to say good morning? Hey, can you say good morning? Good morning. But, yeah, my dogs have been freaked out. The backyard is not safe for a kid to play in, let alone my dogs. So, I don't know. This house is disgusting. You don't even want to see the backyard, how bad it is. Boys, I mean, come on, come on. Yeah, it's the only part that is okay is the living room. Our little safe spot that we're all just hanging out in because this is the only place except the carpet is so filthy, hasn't even been cleaned. I made sure I take pictures of everything, of how nasty this house is. I mean, I came in here and I had to sweep up cockroaches from over here. And the oven, the everything, I mean, just stuff is just laid out everywhere. I can't even have my son come out in this little sun area room because of the fact, not only it's cold, the heater deal doesn't work. This is all their junk, just laid all on the ground here. Nasty, this is the backyard. That's not even safe, there's a whole bunch of na um, junk underneath there that's not safe even for my dogs. It is totally a mess. This is a safety hazard all on its own, all the way around. I mean, this house is disgusting, like, even on the other side, the fences, we had to block it and everything. I mean, that's not even the worst of the part of the house. And I don't know how I'm going to deal with 45 days in this house. It's not safe for the dogs. It's not safe for my son. He's going to be isolated inside the house because he can't go play in the backyard. It's sad. Come on, boys. But, yeah. No one should have to live like this. When you move into a place, especially when you're renting and it's furnished, it should be clean, not dirty. I shouldn't have to clean it up and I haven't yet because they need to do it. I made sure I took pictures of everything, everything, top to bottom, stuff that they left. The worst part is I found a picture in the bedroom that I'm sleeping in with my son and it triggered me. There is a picture that was printed out of two girls that are passed out asleep. It looks like it's a black and white picture printed out from a computer in a drawer where these girls are unconscious and don't know that they're being photographed. That in alone is creepy. And it triggered my PTSD so bad that it freaked me out. I want to know what's going on with that. That is creepy. This house is just... My son doesn't want to be here. I don't want to be here. I had a panic attack when I first came in, saw the downstairs, went to the backyard, just that alone, went, went to go up the stairs here, and I sat at the top of the steps and just sat there. No, you're not supposed to be up there. I sat there for about 20 minutes. My anxiety was so bad, I was sweating. My neck started hurting really bad. That's what happened. My neck starts to go out. My spine issues act up when my anxiety gets really bad. I mean, I couldn't even go into the other rooms. I was so mad. So mad. 
This house is disgusting. The walls, the everything. I mean, my son's like, it needs to be painted. I don't like the doors. I don't like this. But the weird creepy part is, is look, why do you have these to lock people in their rooms? How creepy is that? And then there's these doors all around the house that are just like this locked. For my room, also has one on there with the latch. Sorry, it's a mess. So yeah, my son and I slept over here. But finding a creepy picture in the drawer? No. Chase, you're not allowed in here. My son hates that this house is nasty. But the rooms are creepy. This room, I know they tried, but apples? And they did a horrible job anyways. Why would you even try to attempt to paint when you can't? I mean, that just messes with my OCD because, you know, I just won't. I made sure I took pictures of anything that was broken and stuff. Come on, boys. But I mean, this is horrible. That's not even all of it. I can't even, I'm not going to even show you the rest of it because it's that bad. Yeah, I can deal with the no paint job and stuff like that because, you know, I used to do professional painting. But this house is disgusting. The carpet not even cleaned. The kitchen not even cleaned. The, they left someone's nasty toothbrushes all in the sink and stuff and trash. Uh, heck, they didn't even flush the toilet before they even left and everything, too. Then I had an issue with the bathroom upstairs not wanting to work. And I'm like, great, another house where the plumbing is awful. This house looks creepy like I'm in a horror movie. Like, I'm not kidding. The backyard is so unsafe for real. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how I'm going to deal with this, but make sure my son, my dogs are by me and do the best I can, I guess. I don't know what else to do. We have no other choice. This is, it's a mess. I don't want to show the rest of the house that is how bad it is because it's just that bad. I mean, it could be worse, but when I have to pick up clean up cockroaches because ones that look like they've been here for a long time. Hi Rhonda, I'm talking about how my son and I had nightmares last night because of this creepy, ugly, nasty, filthy house that we rented for 45 days paying over $5,000, which is two and a half times the amount our rent at our ho last house. I was so glad to get out of the house, but now I would go back. But no, because our other landlord kicked us out because she had potential people moving in. So we had to move. We don't move into California until April. She couldn't wait one more month. My neighbors never even... Oh, that the picture that was in the drawer? Is that what you're talking about, Terry? But yeah, like my neighbors there, they, none of them really talked to us when we were there. And then all of a sudden when we had the movers and stuff, they were all being nosy and stuff. And the truck was in front of the house. Hold on, Jordan. Jordan, hold on, baby. And they... Why is there safety hazards here? There is safety hazards because there is a glass table and everything. And you can't be running around. Because look, come in here. And I told my son, he needs to be careful. Look at this. How is that safe at all? Like, are you kidding me? Can you hear about ties? Say morning. Jordan. But this carpet, I take pictures of everything. This is disgusting. This is the only room that's semi-decent besides the carpet. But to have to come in here and clean up cockroaches out of the kitchen. I can't even cook in the oven because the oven is filthy. The, I found a picture in the room that my son and I are sleeping in because he doesn't want to be alone. Neither do I. And so he screamed all night and um, tossing and turning, screaming, like bad. And he told me this morning it was because of the, the house. Um, in the drawer in the room that I'm in is a picture of two women that are unconscious in a vehicle, like one in the front seat, one in the back seat. And it looks like they had no, no I mean, you have no knowledge of someone taking you know, a picture when you're sleeping. 
but it's like a black and white picture and it looks like it's printed off from a computer. It triggered my PTSD so bad. I was like, I want out of here. Even when my husband looked at the picture, he was like, oh, he just kept on staring at the picture like, what is this picture? And I'm like, what are you talking about? And he, he was just like, I could just see, he just was like, this something is not right about this picture. I don't know, that, that's just creepy. I wouldn't want someone taking a picture of me like that when I was sleeping. And it, 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 it's not appropriate. I, and why was it left in the drawer? It's totally creepy. The backyard is, a, is insane dangerous. Watch this. Come here, boys. It is insane how bad this backyard is. I'm sorry. I'm just so upset. My son is upset. Plus, it's creepy. There's no curtains here and, and stuff. But, I mean, I'm not going to go and buy curtains and stuff. But my son hates it here. He doesn't want to be in this house. He does not. It's horrible. Horrible. So, got gates up. So, but it's still, this, my son is totally not happy about this house. I don't even know if I got Wi-Fi when I go outside, but Rhonda, are you still listening? I'm, I'm just, I don't even know. I even posted on my regular wall that I won't be taking pictures in this house because of it. I look like a mess because I still haven't got to take a shower yet because I'm, you don't even want to see the bathrooms. Oh my gosh, it is so horrible. I feel like I'm in a, um, sorry, I'm in like in a nightmare for real. Like, it's just creepy. This backyard is totally not safe for my dogs alone. Watch this. This is horrible. My son would be able to go out here, but it's so cold and nasty, and all this junk is just here. Yeah, I think so too, because this is horrible. Just watch this. I'm gonna come out on this side real quick. Chase has already walked into the into the glass door a couple of times already. Come on, Chase. Go on. But my littlest dog, this is not safe for him. My two chihuahuas. Look at, the, I mean, this is just disgusting. Just wait. This is just horrible. Oh, my connection is weak. Hold on. Let's see if I can get this side over here. They used a basketball hoop deal to block the gate. I had to go around the fences and block it. I don't know, I'm about to probably lose deal. Wait to see that he can't, in this little, whatever is disgusting. Then, this is totally not safe. I'm glad that in the night, because there's like a post just sticking up out of the ground. I almost tripped over it last night. And then they got some like deal here, like my dogs can get up underneath there. I guess for when it rains. This is totally, horrible. Wait over here. Oh, my connection is weak. But this is the last part of it. Then plus this isn't safe. Dogs can fall up under there. There's cameras. They got cameras that you can see from when you're inside. It made me feel freaked out when my husband goes, look behind, look behind you and stuff. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I couldn't see him in the windows, you know? My son won't be able to play. Oh, last night in the night, I did not see this blue deal for their laundry, that means I'm thinking, oh, maybe their dryer doesn't work, which we can't even get into the basement right now. We can't even know how to get down there. But look, this is all raggedy. And yeah, what in the world? How is this safe for any kids? That's not even the worst of the house. It's not. I know. That's what I'm, I'm freaked out to even get dressed or take a shower. Like, my husband says, like, I don't know, you can see, I'm wondering, can the owner of the house, I'm not racist or anything, but he says the guy is Arabic. So I don't think that he's going to listen to me talk because 
that's going to trigger me because at my last job when I worked in um, California, they said um, there was a guy I was trying to help his wife with uh, just for a tea. Well, he got mad and yelled at me and made me cry and how he treated his wife. I'm not saying that all for their religion that they're like that, but if this guy says anything to upset me and demean me as a woman, no, I am out of here. This is not safe for my son at all. Thanks, Bradley. Thanks, Rhonda. Thanks, everyone. Terry, I don't know if you were talking about for that picture, but that, um, that picture, I don't know who owns that picture. Maybe the last people that were in here? I don't know. It was in the drawer of the desk. It is so horrible of this picture. I'm not, I, I'm so upset about this house. Sorry, I'm gonna have a cigarette. I'm like freaked out over here. This house is, my son was screaming bloody, bloody murder last night. I need to quit smoking, but how was I gonna quit smoking when I have to live in this, this house? And I told my husband about it, that this is triggering my PTSD. I couldn't even go up to the rooms yet. I was sitting on the stairs for 20 minutes and he was like, just come and look at the rooms, come look at the rooms. And my son is screaming, Oh, this place is raunchy. It's so disgusting. Uh, Bradley, the picture was of two women passed out in a vehicle, like one in the front seat. Her knees are up and you can see her, you know, like it looks like her, her whatever she, her blanket was pushed up to see her kneecaps and everything and stuff like that. The other girl passed out in the back seat. It's like a black and white picture, but not like an old, old timey picture. Like it was printed out off a computer. It triggered my PTSD so bad, trigger warning, because of my dad taking pictures of me. And then last year when my surgeon that injured me to cause me to have to have surgery, he asked me to take pictures of my private parts to send to him to his personal cell phone. I already contacted my insurance because he works, he's the number one surgeon for my insurance company and they filed a report against him. I should still do a malpractice suit against him because I'm not healing after my surgery. Yeah, I know smoking doesn't help it, but that's not the thing. But all these other doctors have used my mental health against me and stuff, and I haven't been inpatient in two years. But this house is a nightmare. And I don't like the fact that I got cameras that are watching me right now. I don't like that. It freaks me out. I know, thanks y'all, hugs. I, I'm just so, I have to watch out for when my little dogs are out here so they don't fall into whatever this crap is or get underneath the fences and get run over my dogs are all chips so i'd be able to find them or whatever but this house is creepy very creepy and my son is not gonna be able to play out in this backyard it's unsafe for real it, it, i don't know um thanks for letting me vent and stuff i just um anybody y'all can message me and stuff i'm just totally trying to just keep calm for my son you know what I mean um, I don't know what to do he he doesn't want to be here he doesn't and the fact that I feel like I'm being watched especially when I know that I am and my husband didn't tell me about it and then start to do that really upset me and he knows all my triggers and he's he's he was all mad at me for yesterday why I want out of this house and he's like well there's nothing we can do about it you're just gonna have to deal with it well, I'm the one that stays home all day with our son and dogs. I should feel comfortable where I'm at. I should. We all should. Especially having PTSD. But finding that picture was the last straw. I was like, I wanted to puke. I was, it was so bad. I mean, this house, the rest of the house, I didn't even show you the rest of the house. It's terrible. But I will talk to you all later if you need a message. Yeah, sorry, message me, that would be great. Um, thanks for listening and watching me vent. I'm, I don't know, hopefully my son will have a better night's sleep tonight, but I'm, he's staying with me. We're, uh, yeah, my husband and I are separated anyway, so we don't share the same room anyway, so. But my son's not having his own room, especially with those staircase, he can fall down those stairs, so. And I'm not having any chances of accident, so. All right, take care, y'all, you have a great day, thanks.